on to the July TBR now I plan to participate in the 30 bucks in 30 days which is the challenge I'm giving myself as well as the fact that there's the book two readathon and a couple of readathons that I want to participate in these are the physical books I plan to read several of them because I have reviews <laughs> the first one is going to be Sarah Morgan's um, suddenly last summer um, and I love her longer books because she has more time to develop the characters and develop the stories so I'm looking forward to reading that then I'll be reading the entire Thunder Point series because I'm participating in a review blitz for the homecoming which comes out in September so I need to have all the other books read because I'm one of those people I can't just read the last book I have to read all of the books so we've got the homecoming the wanderer and you guys are probably like oh we've seen these books all the time <laughs> the newcomer the chance the promise and those are all by Robin Carr then to get me some Brenda Jackson in I'm be reading Courting Justice which is one of the Madras family series um, this is a new to me series like I've been a Westmoreland fan for years um, but I'm diving into the Madras family and this sounds so amazing then because I've gotten the second book I'm going to be reading To Sin with a Viking by Michelle Willingham I met her online at BEA, well my sister met her online at BEA in 2013, I believe, 2013, hmm, yes, 2013, because this is when this came out, and um, met her, chatted her up, and she told us to meet us, oh, she told us to meet her at the Harlequin booth, and we go over there, and my sister's like, I met an author, and we get there, and she was so freaking hilarious, so I am so excited for her. So I'm reading this and I'll be reading the second book as well. Then to get back into my Heather Graham moments because I've been missing some rom romantic suspense I'll be reading The Night is Alive which is book two in this series of Crew Hunters and then the third book um, I can't remember I have I've read The Night is Watching there's another one in this that I plan to read I plan to pick it up it's a green cover I don't remember the name but that's another one of the ones I plan to read now here's the rest I got this from BEA um, it came in the mail after BEA and this is the girl in the well and I'm super super excited to read this oh my gosh and it's a short book um, this August and I'm actually going to do an excerpt for this so it's gonna go up at the end of this month um, I'm so excited. I read the first chapter to do the excerpt and I'm super super pumped about this. Next one I'm reading is The Witch Boy by um, Kelly Barnhill and I got this from um, Elegunquin and I'm super excited to read this as well. This one came in the mail and this comes out in September so I'll be doing an excerpt for this in August and oh my god I read the first chapter and I'm so in love with this. So in love with it. I bet you hoped you'd never see this one again. <laughs> um, I went ahead and picked this back up from the um, library. I have to read it. Um, I've been enjoying the series. I just had so many other things to do that I put it aside. So I'm going to go back into Claim Me. And I'm going to have to restart because I don't even remember where I was. But Claim Me by Jay Kenner. I picked this one up the other day. This isn't even in a haul yet. <laughs> and this is Take Me On by Katie McGarry. This is book four in the Pushing the Limits series. And I absolutely love this series. And I cannot wait to dive in. This is going to be the story of um, Rachel Brother from Crash Into Me. Um, and there's, excuse me, there's three brothers. So I'm betting they're going to be three awesome stories. Um, yeah, this is the one that's always fist fighting, so I can't wait to read his story. I'm going to be finishing Thorn Jack. I am almost done. I just had to put this aside to finish a few of my review books. Um, and I cannot wait to dive in. Next is Afterburn and Aftershock. I've already read Afterburn and I'm going to reread it to get into Aftershock. 
I love Sylvia Day and if I have it on my shelf it's got to be read. <laughs> I don't own anything Sylvia Day that I haven't read already. So I got to read that. I cannot wait till the Crossfire 4 comes out. Next is <laughs> H2O which I also got this month and this is from Sourcebooks. Um, you'll see this in my haul. Almost everything that came is in this haul. Um, and this doesn't come out till October. I'll also be doing an excerpt for this. I'm thanking Book Rat Misty for that. Misty from the Book Rat for the concept of doing excerpts so that people can hear the juiciness. I'm loving this so far. I've already started this so I'm going to enjoy the rest of this. <laughs> Now and Forever by Susan Colasanti. This is the only book I have that I have not read by her. And I cannot wait. Like, I'm loving the cover, the story premise, and, and it's Susan Colasanti. Like, I will read it. She could write a grocery list. And I would read it. The next one is Avenge Me. And I'll be picking up the other book, which is... I'll be picking up the second book, which is Scandalize Me. And I'll be reading both of these this month. <laughs> I told you guys I was going to be reading this and this is the book of life by Deborah Harkness this is book three in the all souls all souls Tri all souls trilogy right that's what it's called yeah that's what it's called I believe <laughs> but yeah it's all souls trilogy and this is the final book in the trilogy and I am just so <sighs> I'm looking forward to it. I'm anxious. I'm nervous. I've already ordered my physical hard copy. But yeah, I'm going to have two of these on the shelf. Because this is signed. Next is going to be Breathe Any Breathe by Miranda Keneally. This comes out this month and there's going to be a giveaway for this. So make sure you keep an eye out. Um, I'll have a video up for that for you. So yeah, I'm doing a huge giveaway for this. And I'm super, super excited. This is from Sourcebooks. It comes out July 17th, I believe, and don't quote me on that date. It might be earlier. Um, I just can't wait to read this. The next book I'm excited to read is Jennifer Probe's Executive Seduction. And I cannot wait. This is a short book, so I might actually read this one first and then dive into all the others. I have four days in the next two weeks, in the next week, that I'm not working. So I will be in the face first in these books um and then altered and shattered books one and two in this series um this is at a boarding school that's all i needed to know it's horror and it's at a boarding school all i needed to know but shattered is coming out this this month in july yes shattered is coming out this month in july and I am part of the blog tour, so I'm going to have this read. Um, and then the last book. This comes out in September. Yes, this comes out September 2nd. And I'm going to be reading it this month. I cannot wait till August. Like, I just... Hair of Fire by Sarah G. Mass. Like, Sarah is just so awesome. Thanks again to Bloomsbury for this. A lot of... Uh, BEA 2014 books and a lot of um, blog tour books but you know what I don't care I still have nine more books to add to this list that I will be picking up throughout the month um, several books from my ebook collection including finishing JC Burton's straddling the line which is part of the play-by-play -play series um, which is book eight book eight already y'all book eight but I'll be finishing two other series in ebook form as well as reading Rogue by Gina Damico. Um, but that's my list so far and I plan to stick to it because I need to read all of these books. All the books, all the books. I'm sure as the month goes along I'll be adding other books to this um, because I need to read 30 books. Um, I am still 13 books ahead for my overall month yearly goal really good books waiting on me so I'm going to go and go read tell me how your month in June is I see a lot of people are putting up their June wrap-ups already and their July TBRs um, and I cannot wait to hear what you guys read and how much you loved your books you read this month 
share down in the comments down below and i will see you guys later goodbye